you. Look at you. Thank I you. I, I love a, I know Ed, a onesie. I love a grown-up onesie. Yeah. Um, how's your family been? Very, very good. Yeah? It's, it's, you know, Christmas time, it's been beautiful. Yeah. Big family. Yeah, you do have it. You have five kids, right? Yes, yeah. And they're all mine. <laughs> yeah. Can you believe it? It's just a lot. It's a lot. <laughs> well, I, do your kids cook? Yeah, I mean, I've tried uh, to subliminally brainwash them throughout all stages of do their it. life. Do it. Uh, they're normally really good until about 12, and then when the teens come, it's like, uh-uh. Uh, yeah. And then I've noticed at college, they don't want me to know about it, but they're actually cooking, they're like batch cooking, they're getting all their friends yeah. to put money in and saving money, cooking these big feasts, and then all the money saved goes on booze. Party. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, okay. You know what, so, if they're that clever and can yeah. cook, I'm okay with it. Yeah, yeah. But I think, you know, that's the thing with kids, man. If you just... Yeah. Like, it's little things and often that count. You don't have to do big projects. Like, just walking them, like, through a farmer's market once a month. You don't even have to spend any money. Just yeah. walk them through. They just pick up stuff. No, and... you... I, I did not frequent a grocery store. We were poor. I lived on very poor food. And so well, I never learned, really, how to grocery shop. Yeah. I get overwhelmed in a grocery store. Yeah. So I think it's very important to... Look, and I think that, that scenario that you talk about, which is really important, whether it's the UK or the US, Quite uniquely, like, if you go to the Mediterranean, which is where this book is centred, yeah. like, if you come from the project, if you're poor, yep. they grow up around food. They, they eat well. They yeah. eat well on less. And, 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 and in this book, with five ingredients, less... You yeah. have, the shopping list is smaller, you spend less, but also it makes you focus on technique. This is my favourite thing. You've been on here, but I love that it's five ingredients. This is brilliant, because, yeah. like, I look at this and it's not daunting. Like, I hate when you get a book and the, the ingredients are like this and it's like prep 45. Yeah. I'm like, I'm a single Honestly, mother. Honestly, truly. Stop there. Th this, is, <laughs> this is the one for you. No, it and, is. I've already, do you know I already have recipes like marked on your book? <laughs> I'm not kidding. Yeah. Because I, I, I love how easy it is. I'm like, okay, I can go to Whole Foods and. Because also in New York, carrying all those bags of groceries? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. I get it. Yeah. But I'm... also, which, uh, the way we're living is changing. So yeah. the target, you're the target, by the way. Um, yeah. The target is changing. Phones, technology, delivery services, living in cities, out in the country. Yeah. It, it's changing. So my job is to keep cooking alive because I believe in it truly. I know it can heal you, fix you, make you happier yeah. from, from, from a financial point of it's view. It's medicine. Honestly, truly. It's medicine, too. And, and, and actually, at this moment in time in Britain and America, we've never cooked less. Yeah. So my job, is the way I see it, is quick, easy, affordable. Yeah. Let me hold your hand. Yeah. I, I'm dyslexic, right? So words actually are, are my enemy. So on the page, I spend hours trying to have less words. Less like, just, more. like, business. Yeah. Let's just knock out a lovely dinner. I will say, like, the five ingredients... To, when you're talking to... Because my mom was a single mom, too, so that's why there wasn't a lot of time for yeah, that, too. I get it. And so it's, like... And, and she wasn't trained like that, you yeah. know, either. So it, it's just... If, it's overwhelming. So I think this is, like, the perfect book for people Can I like just me. say, right, you're not born to cook, right? Everyone has the capacity. Yeah. And it's not if, it's always when. And I've, I've met many times, like, people in the 60s and 70s, and they just got it. And the, and the sorrow in their eyes is, is that it, it's 10, 20, 30 years too late. Yeah. And because it's yours. You're a musician. Like, you, you've got the band over yeah. there. Like, music and food, are like, you, it's, it can be simple. And, you, and the way you feel and what you cook and what you choose to buy yeah. and how it makes you feel. Oh, I, I know, I, know I sound like a hippie, but it's no. true. It's I'm true. I'm a total hippie. You're talking to a musician. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, no, but honestly, so no. I, I believe that you can be a great cook and, and I would put money on it. I believe... OK, here's the thing. I can actually cook well. It just takes me... You know the little part where it says 15 minutes? Nope. But it takes me... I freak out on that. Wait, how many was it? How much was it? Like, I sit yeah, there just you, to get the ingredients ready. But you ready. don't do that on the stage. So what you have to do... I know, ...is you need repetition. to just convert you that confidence. Start, yeah. And also, the recipes are there to, to work. You know, they've got to work, but they're there for you to make yours. So when you see our recipe later, I'm going to give you a principle, not a recipe. Right? So then if you don't like that, you swap it out. And if you don't like that, you swap it out. But you will get a delicious thing at the end of the journey. I think what's also smart about it, too, is that I love growing gardens. Like, and so, and so it's like, ooh, what do I grow? Because I like to eat a lot of things. I just don't know chemistry-wise yeah. how to put it together. But even for that, it's like you look at those five ingredients and go, OK, so I'm going to plant this. I love I'll it. use that for the I recipes. I love growing things as well. Me too. But like, if, if you limit it down and you're like, OK, I'm going to do these recipes, so maybe I'll focus on growing these, yeah. that's easier, too, Beautiful. because it's so overwhelming. But... I, I, I have a garden, and I did a, a bunch of TV series in my garden. I didn't realise the biggest marijuana plants had grown in the background. Wow. And I didn't plant them. Someone came in. Oh, shut and, up. No, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't. And these I, are not mine. Is this not, not, How did these marijuana I'm, plants get I'm in here? I'm sitting there doing some slaw and tacos, and like, there's this big old leaf hanging out, and I'm like, damn. But, uh, yeah, funny.
I feel like I'm introducing you poorly because you are a knight in the UK. So I should say Sir Jamie Oliver. <laughs> no, no, I'm not a knight. No, I got an MBE, which okay. is a, a member of the British Empire, I'll have you know. Well, what does uh, that mean? What does uh, that mean? I got it actually when I was a very young lad. Um, it was for services to the restaurant industry. Yeah. And I set up a restaurant. My first restaurant um, was called 15. And every year we took 15 kids from the projects or from prison or homeless kids or kids that were just sort of lost. Mm. And then we gave them second and third chances, supported by inspirational role models. Uh, and it worked. And we did it for 17 years and it worked. And, it, and what was beautiful is it, it's that incredible story of transformation. Can you change people? If yeah. you've got a trajectory of violence and drugs and crime, like, can you go to Michelin stars? And yeah. interestingly, two of my, uh, we had like 480 students that go through. Two have Michelin stars. I haven't even got one. So they, they got better than me, ah. you know, so. Um, yeah, it's, you do, you're uh, a great teacher. Yeah, yes, it's, um, that's cool. I'm the cool Mr. Miyagi of chefs, I like it. I mean, I, I love the idea of whether it's the public or people yeah. teaching skills that switch on the switch so you have your own fantasy and your own journey. Like, you know, yeah. just switch on the buttons. And, and also, if you're, most of the kids had struggled at school like I did. Um, and when you're one of those kids that, I mean, in my country, we call it special needs. So it's not the most glamorous name. You get pulled out of classes and all yeah. that. But with cooking, every day you can learn something valuable. And even if you have a bad day, you can still learn stuff. Yeah. So that idea of just filling people up and letting them go on their journey is a beautiful thing. Do you remember the first meal you ever made? You must have been young. Yeah, I started cooking at eight. I lived in a pub restaurant. Um, See, you chefs. were set up to be successful. No, no, but, okay. no, but yeah. I was the thick kid at school. Like, you know, but I like to earn money. So um, dad said, like, I'm not going to give you money, you earn it. So I used yeah. to go in the kitchen, prep, peel, you know, wash up. Yeah. And, and as school was going like that, at the weekends, I was like that. So for me, truly, like, cooking, I feel like, saved, saved I me. I feel like music did that for me. I wasn't that kind yeah. of kid either. Yeah, I, I think I, everyone I wants to be good at something, right? So yeah. that first meal. And it gives you that confidence that can carry over to Yeah, and I remember yeah. that I did a, a full, I did a proper roast dinner with all the trimmings, potatoes, gravy, the sauces. How old were you? Uh, 11. And, and, like, everything. I heated up a Hot Pocket in the microwave. <laughs> <laughs> No, I just remember my dad saying, well done, son, that was delicious. And I remember the hairs just going, <gasps> like, that oh, was mine. But, but yeah, but I just come out, I just come from a parents' evening at school, which was, which was really bad. Yeah. Um, so but I'm look like, what hey. I can do. Yeah, yeah. And I think that, I think that's, that's it. Yeah. Oh, I, I love that. I, I think it's important for kids to find something that they find pride in themselves and they feel confident F in. A food it can, carries over. Yeah, it can, it can make, like, if you learn to, I call it like 10 recipes to save your life. Right, truly, honestly, if, you, I, if I had a wish, it would be that every American kid leaves at 16 knowing the 10 recipes to save their life. Well, they should and teach this in they school. They have to. It would save the money. Whether they're rich or poor, they would eat deliciously. There'd be less people going... To, most of the stuff going through hospital is diet-related disease. It's all gut. So yeah, it's, it's all like... Just, gut, really. And that adventure of cooking, like... Like, convenience and all that has, has helped us, but not helped us. So, yeah. So that's what I feel my journey is, doing these books and, and, and the TV shows that we do. And I've been doing it a long time. I know yeah. I look young, guys, but um, I, I'm, like, 25 years in the business. I'm, like, I'm literally, like, I've been around a long time. It's um, cool, though, that you're still inspired with these new ideas. Like, never you've had got over bored. 20 cookbooks. I've I never dried up, thank the Lord. Oh, I think when I get bored, I'll just quit. But I can, yeah. fan I can just see things and I fantasise. And yeah. I, I can fantasise about... We fantasise about different things. Yeah, I know, but <laughs> I, I fantasise about that as well. You know, yeah. the, the two can come like, together. Oh! Oh, yeah, beautiful like, yeah. chocolate. Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> that might be my last book. <laughs> yeah, there you go. How to keep the fire alive. Yeah, you can, yeah. Uh, you yeah, yeah. marriage. Five ways with. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of subliminal jokes yes. happening here, but I think America's uh, with us. I like it. I think you should be. Um, so do your kids, do they get annoyed with, that you're famous and they think it's still cool? Because sometimes my yeah. kids think it's cool, but sometimes they're annoyed because they're just like, ugh. I think having a, a, a parent that's well-known is very unhealthy. And the statistics are all there. And, yeah. and, and it's like kids just want to fit in and be normal. Mm -hmm. And then when you've got a dad, I mean, I, I, get, I got told off by my daughter once. I was walking up, it was parents' evening. I got told off and I, and I evaluated my body and what I was doing. And I realized the only thing I had done was have a pulse. Um, like, yeah. like, it's just, we're embarrassing yeah. to them. And, and no matter what you do. I think I'm cool. Like, like I got my trainers, I got my top. Like, <laughs> I'm, just like, I'm just like, I'm just like, yeah, I'm cool. I'm at school. And then the kids, and like, they're just so embarrassed. And I'm not cool. 
Yeah, which, nobody is cold. Which breaks here, my yeah. heart. Yeah. Um, and, yeah. and then, like, you're in the parents' evening and they kind of go, um, I did that recipe the other day. And, um, and then they're like, oh, no. So, <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's been a rough old ride at times. Yeah. Yeah, we just got a battle on. Yeah. We're just not cool. I'm okay with it. Um, do strangers, do they approach you with food to try? Because I yeah. feel like people approach me with songs. Yeah, I've been given so many okay. weird and wonderful things. Do you ever taste it? Because I'm kind of like, you yeah. shouldn't take a drink from a stranger at a bar, so, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Know. You know, yeah, you don't want to be doped. I'm, I, yeah. I, I have been given my fair share of, like, um, like um, cookies that have had certain things put in them. But no, I, I get given a lot of stuff. It's when yeah. they say, do you want to try it now? Oh. And they're going live on Instagram stories, and like, it's like, uh, I just had lunch. I think, oh, uh, I know. You know. I have full on ask. People have bought me stuff too, and I'm just like, I and I don't know why. They well, they must think I love food, um, but they bring stuff, and I'm I'm afraid to try it. But then they, you feel bad, and I'm like, yeah, yeah. if I get poisoned and die from this, this is how I'm gonna yeah. go out. You've got like, to have I don't some. You got to have like, some boundaries. I know, I know, I'm bad with that, but in therapy. Um, well, uh, <laughs> well, here we go. Let's do another commercial break. Uh, Jamie is cooking for us later in the show because I'm just always trying to learn. His new book, Five Ingredients Mediterranean, is out now. It's really awesome. You should get it. I'm going to try recipes from it, no doubt. I'm going to post them and everything.